Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna let you steal my weekly email marketing schedule. So whether you're writing for yourself or you're writing for a client, you can use this schedule, you can model it for yourself or your business or a client's business, and you'll never have to guess what theme or topic to write about each day. So I've been using this for a little over a year now, this the schedule that I'm about to show you, and it just makes my life a lot easier. I never have to think about what to write about, and I know exactly what the theme is gonna be for each day. So I'm gonna hop into my computer in a second, but before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my future videos. Doing that lets me know that you're enjoying the content, helps to show it to other people who can benefit, and it also motivates me to continue creating content because this does take a bit of time to do. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you're enjoying the content so you don't miss any future updates. And with that said, let's hop over to my computer. I'm just gonna walk this over with you very casually, and you can steal this exact schedule if you want for yourself as well. So let's hop into my computer right now. Okay, so I have my schedule up here on the screen. And I'm just gonna walk you through each of these email types and what's being done. And I'm just gonna show you last week's emails so you can see exactly how this rolled out uh, on my own email list. If you guys wanna join my email list as well, just go to emailrainmaker.com. You can join my free Facebook group. There's gonna be a question to enter your email address for a free report. And you'll be able to see these emails for yourself as soon as you join the list. So let's walk through each of these days right now. Right? So I, I send out an email usually Monday through Saturday. If I'm doing a promotion, I'll send out an email once or twice a day, and I do those once per month. I'll talk about what that is as well. But let's just walk through each of these emails from last week so you can see what these look like. So on Mondays, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, I am creating a YouTube video for my channel, as you're watching right now. And on Mondays and Wednesdays, it's very easy for me to write an email because all I'm doing is linking to the video. So here's an example here, right? And the way that I do this is I just build a little bit of context or some excitement, right? I get them pumped up about what they're gonna learn. So this is the 100K challenge where I wanna help Jackie pay off her, her student loans from pharmacy school. And I talk about how I'm gonna do it with new income streams, right? So I'm building curiosity, I'm building excitement. Ooh, what is this challenge about? I'm gonna click to this video and this goes to my YouTube channel. And it's not gonna do that in here because I'm an active campaign. Um, but that's all I'm doing on Mondays and Wednesdays is I'm just writing a bit, a short introduction of why they should watch my YouTube video, then I'm linking to it. There's no direct offer in here, um, but I do wanna show you this at the bottom. I learned this from a guy named Dean Jackson. I think he calls it a super signature. And it's kind of like a choose your own journey thing, right? So you're, you're gonna notice here, I'm not actually making an offer. The offer is to click on this video. Um, but you can see down here, if they want to follow me on Twitter or they wanna join my group or they wanna get one of my paid offerings here, they can do that. So it's like a choose your own journey based on where they're at in their journey. Um, so this is the Monday email, right? And this is the linking to the YouTube video. So that's day one, real simple and short, not much to that. Now on Tuesdays, I don't have a YouTube video. So I'm writing about whatever I'm feeling at the time and I have a note doc on my iPhone that helps me to plan this out. But it could be a story, an opinion on something, a lesson, an insight, or I could be doing a promotion at the time or getting warmed up for a promotion. So here is an example right here. Let me X this out. Um, this is about, I was testing an offer, a potential offer I'm rolling out for Facebook groups. And I did that by writing a bit of a story here. So I talked about one of my mentors who pulled out 730K in coaching sales from a small Facebook group with 634 members. So I'm building up the excitement. I'm, t I'm telling a little bit of a story, no crazy story, but it's like a real life story of one of my mentors. And then I talked about my Facebook group, email marketing rainmakers and the results I've generated from that. So I talk about that and how it's worked over the last year. And at the end, I say, would you like to join us? I'm gonna be helping people do the same thing with their Facebook groups, right? So this is a bit of an offer and a story mix, um, but I'm usually writing about one of these things here, right? Like a story, an opinion on something, you know, when politics were going on, the whole election thing, I had some opinion emails that went out around that. Um, if I learn a really important lesson or something happens in my life, right? Like when I got COVID, I wrote about that. So whatever's going on at the time and whatever I'm feeling, that's what I write about on Tuesdays. Now, Wednesdays is the same thing as Monday. If I go here to this one here, you can see again, uh, LinkedIn messaging strategy I'm using to get clients. So I'm building excitement. I give a little bit of context. Hey, I just jumped on LinkedIn again after 18 months. 
I optimize my LinkedIn profile. Now I'm reaching out to people to get them as clients. Here's the messaging strategy that I'm using. Okay. Um, so I get them excited. I then tell them, Hey, don't copy and paste, but it's going to work for you. Uh, it's going to work for you if you use this basic framework of what I talk about in this video okay, and it links to the YouTube video here. So very similar to the Monday email. So that is Wednesday, Thursday, same thing. Whatever I'm feeling at the time, story, opinion, lesson, insight, or promo. Um, my email here from last Thursday was about an OnlyFans agency owner who made internet pimps his way to 100K a month. So I talked about a two, hour, a two hour conversation I had with this guy who runs an OnlyFans agency that brought it to 100K a month in four months. And I had a bit of a Q&A here of questions that I was asking him that um, gave some insight on what he was doing with his agency. So. Um, this is a bit of a story email or like, a, I guess you can call it a story email and a lessons email from talking to this guy and learning more about his business model. And at the end here, I segue into my own product, right? So I link to my product here, the super fast sales email challenge. By the way, if you guys want to check this out, there's a link in the description below. Uh, and the way that I segged into this is I said, uh, this guy that I talked to, he uses a lot of email to help his models make money on OnlyFans. So I talk about this is a money-making skill. If he were to stop doing OnlyFans and he were to just move into another business, he would still crush it because he has the skill of writing emails and running paid advertising. So I talk about that in this email here, right? So it's a bit of a story and a lessons fusion with a promotion here or a link to a direct offer. Okay, so that is Thursday. So Monday through Thursday, I'm kind of just alternating between YouTube video, uh, story, opinion, lesson, insight, promo, and then another YouTube video and the same thing on Thursday. Friday is where it gets a little different. So Friday, what I do, uh, and I love this, it's, it's been very, it's working very well for as long as I've done it. Every Friday, I send out this newsletter called Friday Fire. And what this does is it helps to, it does a few things. It helps to redistribute any content that my audience might have missed, right? They might have missed the, the YouTube video and maybe they see this newsletter and they're like, oh shoot, I gotta watch this. I haven't watched this yet. So it helps to get more views and reach out of my existing content. And it also helps to share wins from my students and customers in my different paid offerings. So it gets them excited to want to join if they didn't already join uh, and, and get one of my products. And it also helps to build the bond and relationship with me and the people on my list, right? So I share thoughts, and I also share uh, an intro story here, right? Of something I learned during the week. So I have a separate video specifically on this newsletter and how to create a newsletter for yourself. Um, I'm gonna link that to that below so you can watch that if you want. But the basic format that I'm using right now is I start this off with a story or a lesson or learning from the week, right? So at this time I was talking about the OnlyFans agency owner guy uh, and how attention is king, attention equals money. And then I go into my content from the week they might have missed. I go into wins from the week for my customers. And then I go into two thoughts from the week. And then I cap it off with, hey, what's your biggest growth challenge? And I tell them how, if they want extra help or they wanna work directly with me, they can click on this link and see how I can help them. Okay, so I love this, this newsletter. It's been very well or very good for getting people into my offerings and showing them wins from customers and students and also helping to build a stronger bond with people. These get pretty good response rates of people just saying, hey, I didn't think about that, or that's a pretty interesting story that you talk to a guy who runs an OnlyFans agency, right? So this gets really good response and reply rates from people on my list, and also pretty good sales. So this is my Friday Fire newsletter. It's like a weekly roundup of my content and student wins and customer wins, and also a promotion at the same time, right? If they wanna check out all the ways I can help them, they can click on this. So that is Friday. And the last one here is Saturday. And this is called, I just recently started doing this. It's called Saturday Story Time. And all I'm doing here is sharing a story that was either a big turning point or a belief shifter or a paradigm, a paradigm shift in my life, something that happened in my life that was on a bigger scale that helped to change my way of thinking or change my behavior. Um, so I recently started doing this a, a couple weeks back. And uh, this one, the recent email that I sent out is, how I turned down a potential 750K a year offer because it didn't align with my values, which is creative, uh, which is creative freedom, ownership, and autonomy, right? They were trying to basically put me in a nine to five type of role. So I wrote a big story about that. I included proof from the story, like the number breakdown from the guy I was talking to. 
And I talked about why I turned it down and some things that I learned and, and things to think about in your own life, right? So this really helped to shift my beliefs. It really, this happened actually earlier this year in April and helped to, sh to change my way of thinking, it actually motivated me to do better in my own business. So um, it's a long, these are typically longer emails. They go into the actual story breakdown of all the details that happened. And again, these are things, these are stories that helped to change my behavior or completely shifted my beliefs. Um, so there's no offer in this email, but there is the super signature. So if someone wants to buy, and if I remember right, this did pretty well in sales for my super fast sales email challenge after I sent this out, even though I'm not promoting it. And this is the last day of the week where I'm writing an email, Saturday, and this is Saturday story time here. So that is my full schedule, my weekly schedule, Monday through Saturday. So if you are selling digital products and you create a lot of content, this is a perfect schedule for you to use here. Now, what I also do, and what I'm in the middle of right now, is I call it the lazy launch, and these are 10 to 14 day campaigns where I spend a day or two and I write up a bunch of emails and I schedule it across email, my Facebook group, my YouTube channel. You guys might've seen this for my email side hustle program, which is going on right now, the enrollment. And these are 10 to 14 day campaigns where I schedule everything out and I just watch sales and conversations rolling in, right? So these are typically for higher ticket offers. So I'll just show you an example of what this looks like. I have one going on right now for my email side hustle program. This is scheduled to go out on the 5th and the 6th. This is also scheduled across my Facebook group and my YouTube community tab. You guys might've seen these posts. And I have to create a few more to last the week up to the 12th, but these are all scheduled out. Like I usually spend a day or two writing the emails and the posts and scheduling it out. And I'll just show you what one of these looks like here. Um, this is like a testimonial style email. And this one is like a problem solution style email. So what if I picked your niche for you? I talk about how um, I've been running this program for four months, everyone gets stuck on picking a niche. So what if I helped you pick a niche, tell you what to offer them, what to say to get them interested and how to deliver on what you offer them? Would that help you? Would you be interested? Would that make your life easier, right? If you're interested, I have this program which can help you do that where I'm gonna help folks do that. Click here and send me the, the word niche in a message and I'll tell you the details of the program, okay? Um, so that is an example of one of the emails. There's usually um, one to two emails going out every day and it lasts 10 to 14 days. So it can be anywhere from like 20 to 28 or 30 emails over that time period, right? Um, but I love these lazy launches. I do it once a month. Every time I do it, it's at least five, multiple five figures in sales. And again, it's called the lazy launch because I spend just a couple days writing the emails, I schedule it out, then I just watch as the sales come in. And I did this when I had COVID um, earlier, like a month ago, I had no energy, I had no brain power. Luckily, I had scheduled out all these emails and these posts the day before, and I didn't have to worry about that. All I had to do was respond to people who had questions and just look at the, the messages coming in, the sales coming in, okay? So this is my entire schedule, my weekly email schedule here. And then once per month, I'm doing a lazy launch. And it doesn't really need to be more complicated than that, right? If you are creating content, you create digital products, you can use this exact schedule here. And if you want to add a promotion where you're selling a high ticket offer as well, you can do a once per month lazy launch like I do here. So that was my weekly and monthly email marketing schedule and strategy. Feel free to steal that schedule for yourself and copy after it. Do not copy my emails word for word, please. No one likes a hack but you can copy that schedule as much as you want, copy the themes and model after that for yourself. Now, if you wanna get on my email list and see these emails and this schedule in action, all you gotta do is go to emailraymaker.com. That's gonna take you to my Facebook group where you can join both my Facebook group community and also my email list for free and learn more about that. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys got value out of this. Give it a like if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.